What do we got? We got ourselves today, Team Blue. It looks like they're ready to go. We got Bornlich playing what looks like Unholy DK. We got Broken Spec playing Retribution Paladin with Adaptation. So this man really thinks his spec is actually broken. We'll see how well he can play it, dude. Wait, is that Zakati? Because Zakati has a full set. Is that Zakati? I wouldn't be surprised if that's Zakati. We got Dumplin. Oh, Lumberjack Dumplin. Looking good, my dude. We got Hamburger playing as a Boomkin with. What's your name? Eelwin? Wheelwin? I'm not gonna mess it up 100%, but you look good, dude. It looks like a nomad. Can't tell. I think he's a beast mastery. I can't tell if there's a weapon. It has to be hunter or something, right? Canny. Or, I mean, of course, it's a hunter, but a beast master, I think. Canny on team. Red as a fire mage. Going up first with fortune in the back. They got Judo. They got Tasty. Hanging out on the bike, dude. <laughs> it's Zooey. Oh, wait, there's Zakati. For some reason, I thought that might be Zakati. You know what? Because he has a full elite set for the plate. So I thought maybe, maybe. But it's going to be Kenny up first. He's going up versus Ilwin of the bat. We do see that he's actually survival. So the weapon was actually blending into his totem. Looks like as if it's like a, a carrying case for his totem. Polymorph coming out early. It's going to be Ring of Frost onto the bat. That actually might be a short poly. Actually, no, it won't be perfect. I'm on a poly. And it might just walk in. To that Ring of Frost, gonna be Caddy going for full combustion, trying to get as much damage. It's gonna rip him over the pet, so Ilwin doesn't get any pet sack out of it. it. Looks like he actually might be down for the count. Meteor coming down, does he not get hit by it? Might have to go for a turtle show right now. Try to go for a double crucible heal with acceleration to follow. This might be his perfect opportunity. To go offensive instead. He just puts Candy on ice, trying to catch himself a bit of a reset. That was a lot of damage out of a fire mage, and this man was cool and collected, still holding on turtle shell. All he had himself is a double crucible and exhilaration, but he was doing just fine, didn't have to heal until he really needed to. That was perfectly well played. That's gonna be a temporal for Kenny. It's gonna have himself a little bit of healing back after this. He'll be using some really off the hand a uh, LOS size. Gonna be a ring, and that's gonna actually get a stun onto the polymer onto Kenny. Trying to go for a little bit of a greater pyro blast. It looks like it's gonna be a harpoon. Ilwin is still in the bad spot. It is actually gonna go down to living bomb. Very unlucky. Didn't have the turtle for it. If he turtled any part of it, or maybe probably used the turtle maybe a little bit earlier. And Kenny. Look at you! You BMing him, dude. You BMing him. What is this? Taking a screenshot with the guy. Are you kidding me? Hamburger over there. Ready to punish him. Hit him with a cycle in the opener. Got himself a little bit of resources from casting Solo Wrath. So Hamburger is going to have to be a little bit of a hard time here. Hopefully he's playing a proc based build Boomkin. Because that actually might help him a lot. Looks like he's getting quite a bit of procs into Candy. Barely got a lot of hits in. That's going to be a big old star surge in there. As long as he keeps the dots on him. Candy might melt to the procs on his own. That might be the only way you have to play as a boomkin for these duels. As Candy is getting himself a shield. Needs to break out a shield immediately. Gonna be a star surge around the corner. I'm not seeing any more procs. If Hamburger has himself a full proc playstyle with the Shark Trinket from EP, the Shiver Venom has himself all the procs for his uh, essences. He might be in a really good spot. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what he ends up playing. Candy out with a shield. His health is dropping down quite a bit, actually. And it's not a huge number. But the dots, the procs, are doing quite a number. And Kenny trying to see if he can get some food. Hamburger is going to go sell. Try to go for a Nova. Not going to happen. And Hamburger is going to read out him. That's going to be a breath to connect with a Ring of Frost to follow this Hamburger trinket out of it. This man is ready for a G-Pie. He's actually going to trick at the last moment and re-stealth. That's going to let the procs continue doing the work. Kenny going for safety trinket proccing. That's going to be his uh, temporal. Not going to get any kind of healing that does get interrupted with the hamburger. And looks like the procs are melting him quite a bit. Safety trinket or oh, shield coming up right now is going to get a breath on the hamburger. Cannot polymer of the guy because he isn't boom conforming. Can he? Your shield is not going to hold up for too much longer. You got to make a move. You got to make a play. I think he's waiting for the next breath play style and trying to go for a big combustion onto hamburger. That's the only thing he might be able to do. Actually, might even be able to trip his cauterize right now candy is dipping down in health little by little hamburger making sure to keep him dotted that's gonna be ice block coming out no candy delaying that cauterized by a hair might need to get a breath and burst on the hamburger hamburger tried to min max the difference min max the range hey ring of frost coming out hamburger does not get hit by it and candy might just go down with it cauterized might have ice block trample coming out ice block comes in is gonna gain back a lot of that health through temporal three minutes in still no dampening on the guy just yet but it's actually clean of all the dots he's gonna go for a bit of invis that's gonna 
gonna give him at least some health regeneration as long as Hamburger is active and aware of the guy is trying to go for a bit of AoE, giving himself away. So Hamburger did give himself away. Cannon might be able to get a Breath play style rolling there. Breath, maybe a Ring of Frost right after trying to go for some food immediately, maybe. As soon as Hamburger is running the other direction. No! Cannon's got himself some shields and going for food immediately. Hamburger is on the case immediately. Trying to get the dots rolling. Cannon trying to get himself a big old Pyro Blast rolling. It does have shields. The dampening is going to kill Canny here. Hamburger is playing to the best place he can. Breath missing completely. Canny unable to get himself a setup. Does get a Nova onto Hamburger. He shifts out of it. And Canny trying to get as many Pyroblasts as he can. Temporal is up. It's going to get a bit of healing. But Hamburger already got the dots. The procs are going to be happening. You just got to be patient and wait for them. Going to be an interrupt onto Hamburger as he's going for a little bit of a regrowth. I need to use bear form just to see if he can break through that shield. Breath into a Ring of Frost does have a trinket at the last second. So Hamburger could break out of that trinket immediately. And Silence Cannon is going to go for a... Actually going to go for a re-stealth instead. Try to get a Lunar Strike. Hopefully got some dots rolling on the Cannon as long as he has damage on him. The procs will be strong. Perfect opportunity to get some setup. Is going to go for a shield right as he gets hit with a Star Surge. And dampening rolling into the 5 minute mark. Cannon... Better make a play. ASAP. He's not going to get himself any food. Hamburger came by just to interrupt him on food. Redotting the guy up. A couple temp uh, temporal coming out for Kenny as he's getting a couple Pyroblasts back to him. Trying to go for roots. Not going to happen. Silence of the Kenny. Unable to do anything right now. And he's still melting to the dots. Hopefully, Hamburger has all the dots in order to make the work here. Kenny does get himself a shield, delaying the damage. Trying to go for food, and Hamburger is in stealth. Nova came out. Perfect opportunity for Hamburger to get back in. Breath coming out again. Is that going to be a Ring of Frost? It is. Does it connect? It does. Kenny, this is your opportunity to get a one shot. Otherwise, I think you lose. Hamburger, Bark Skin, a little bit early. Meteor coming down. That's going to be a full combustion coming out. Trying to go for a cycle and trying to ditch out of the cycle. Trying to juke out. The damage is going to get interrupted, and Hamburger is quite low on health. Kenny is trying to get offensive right now. Hamburger just needs to survive this long enough. He does survive the combustion damage perfect opportunity for him to go offensive right now doesn't even need an incarnation or anything just trying to maintain those dots on the canyon go to power trying to come out does he have a way to stop it looks like great power bus does connect and he turns it around on a hamburger no hamburger finally found the play style that lets him stay competitive and can he just let out a fat Bad, greater pyro on the guy. Save the trick and proc it for Kenny. Double shield for him with his own shields. Does get root onto Duplin, who's going to throw him into fear. Just to get him a little bit extra. Trying to see if he does have reflect. Doesn't have reflect. Is going to polymorph him. Greater pyro blast. So Kenny is going to go offensive right after. Duplin is going to pop a reflect in the last second. Kenny gets hit with a greater pyro. And now he needs to go for a reset. Kenny, does he have invis? Three minutes. He needs to mount up immediately. He does, does have a shield. Maybe he can go for a... Oh, Stormbolt. Duplin. 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 Nope, Duplin got hit in a... Oh. How is Cat is still alive, dude? Duplin just needed one X to get on the guy. That's going to be some first aid for Kenny. Actually went in for food. Actually mounting up. Cannon needs to make sure he has a shield before the Stormbolt. Every single time. Because that Stormbolt is going to be the end of you. Make sure you have a shield early. Shield early, shield off, and hopefully he has maybe a human Rachel to work off of that. It's going to get a little bit of a blink. Stormbolt coming out. Does land a breath on a Duplin somehow, though. I don't know how that happened, but he did do it. With the polymer to follow, and Duplin does not have Reflect for it. Actually, Kenny would love a Reflect right now. Kenny would want to be Reflected on, because that polymer would heal him. Fire Blast coming out for Kenny with the Ring of Frost on Duplin. It's going to not... Oh! Does freeze him, does it reflect. I still think if he would have let cast out that greater power, it would have hit Duplin before it would have hit the reflect. That's gonna be Candace still alive, still surviving. Two people down under his belt. Duplin trying to see if he can find himself an opportunity. The one stone bolt with a little bit of burst is all he needs. Candy has Ice Block back up, Temporal back up, and Viz back up in about a minute. Trinket up in nine seconds. He's got himself a perfect opportunity, dude. I'm still trying to get over how Hamburger, dude, my boy, always trying to play Boomy, struggled to get as close as he could to Kenny, and then one greater pyro changed the game, dude. That's going to be a charge for Duplin. Does get hit with a breath. Polymorph to follow. Duplin, no trick out available. It could go for enraged regeneration. Could that be a ring for Candy? Will it even work? No meteor coming down instead. Candy trinket it out of it. Combustion coming down. Duplin is going to go for a mass heal with a bit of reflect. Reflect is down. There's going to be ice block for Candy. Just trying to not take any damage from Duplin. And not going to let him heal either. Maybe that's what you want for an ice block. That explains it, actually. I was thinking, like, he didn't need to ice block that, did he? Gonna be a short charge for Duplin. Is playing Stormbolt, so he doesn't have the double charge. Fear onto Kenny. Buy himself a little bit of time. 
Breath by Kenny with the Ring of Frost. Dumplin's gonna be able to trink it out of it though. Should probably trink it ASAP. Greater Power Blast trying to come out for Kenny. Probably could have maybe waited for the trink it reflect at the very last second. Doesn't throw up Kenny on fire damage for a little bit, but is that gonna be enough though? Greater Power Blast looking like it's still gonna make a play. Stormbolt coming out by Dumplin, delaying that thing, charging the Kenny. Does get himself a Bloodthirst into a Rampage. Same trink it coming back for Kenny. Needs to get himself just a little bit of extra time. Meteor onto Dumplin. Does he land the execute onto Kenny? He's so close. Scorches are coming out. Could Kenny turn? this around trying to go for a slow shield up for Kenny reflect up for Dumplin trying to interrupt Kenny Scorch is still coming out Cauterize coming in doesn't have any health at all Dumplin does get himself a bit of a heal it does land that execute dude what was that it was Zooey opening up in the kid the shot of the sub rogue not gonna let Dumplin get a full on adult Dumplin does get himself one last bloodthirst to maybe come back but doesn't get it that was so close, dude. Kenny and Dumplin. Kenny was playing behind the whole time. Oh, man. I think there was a one moment where I feel like Kenny would, could have let a Pyroblast fly out, get one great Pyro fly, and that wouldn't have reflected from Dumplin and would have probably ended up being an early kill, but decided to go for a little bit of a different play gonna be Zooey open it up with shadow blades on the pet to get the common points nightblade onto born lich does get a stun on him i ibf coming out immediately out of born lich with a stun to zoo he triggers that out while evasion is still running trying to funnel those shadow strikes into born lich back to back maladuck to follow onto born lich would be a perfect time if born lich goes for any kind of damage but he's not going to be able to i don't really know if Zooey needed to go for a mali that early onto born lich Oh, but Bornich made a mistake. He was completely necrotic and he went for a death pact and his cell didn't even move. All that heal that came from death pact got absorbed into necrotic. And you know what? Instead of it, it was a whole nother bar of necrotic. Bornich completely screwed himself over on that one. Zooey tried to get away from the chain of ice. The best he can does vanish out. Bornich, no health available. If Zooey has a cold blood, this could be a literally one global to finish up Bornich. He has no health at all. Chance fusion didn't work for the guy. Trying to go for AMS early. He's panicking at this point. He knows that death is coming any so anytime soon. Does Zui get himself a reset with a cold blood? No, he leaves. He just leaves. <laughs> it looks like Broken Spec is going to be the last man standing on Team Blue with Zui there to finish him off. Oh my goodness. Dude, Dumpling, dude, made it so much better. I know, right? <laughs> what? Why did Broken Spec attack the monk? He is playing as a Gazooey, which is going to be a little bit of a Shield of Vengeance for Broken Spec right now into a blind, hoping to see if he can... Actually, Broken Spec is playing Adaptation. Was Zooey hoping for a bop or a bubble out of the guy? I don't know if he really needed to go for a blind like that. He does catch a reset that way. He didn't have a Vanish up, so Broken Spec now should be aware. He's not fighting monks. He was attacking a monk for a second there. But he's fighting no other than Zooey. Zikari, which is a DK main on his sub rogue. I like the fact that he is trying out subtlety. I like the fact that he is playing subtlety. I think that makes it so much more fun that way. Gonna be a kinder shot onto Broken Spec. Azui is trying to funnel as much damage into him. Back to back stuns. Actually, bailing away with that cheap shot. Doesn't even follow up with that finisher. Actually, keeping those common points from the cheap shot by the looks of it. To go for another setup onto Broken Spec as he goes for a full flash of light heal. He doesn't get himself fully up. The dampening is at 45%. Not gonna be able to fully recover. It looks like Zui actually might take those extra common points. And maybe open up with a Nightblade on Broken Spec. Does do exactly as I said. Cheap shotting after Shadow Stepping past the guy. This way he wants to go for as much damage. Does get another Eviscery. Bubble coming out for Broken. And Zoe gonna go for that Cloak of Shadows. Try to see if he can just sprint away from Broken Spec to catch a reset. I guess he wanted to pre-cloak in case he gets hit with a Hodge. And Broken is gonna go for a little bit of a reset here. Bop available for Broken Spec. That is actually gonna be quite value against Zoe. The only thing Zoe will be able to do is send a Maledict at the guy to stop him from healing. But it might be enough, honestly. Shield of Vengeance back up for Broken Spec. Has a bop. Has Shield of Vengeance. Has Adaptation. Suzuki's going to have to sap him in order to get through Adaptation. Does have Shadow Blades available, too. Shadow Strike, Night Blade. Can shot to follow? Does Broken Spec bop this damage? Azui's just unloading a full, full form of damage. Back to back eviscerates right now. Cheap shot right after. And looking like he wants to peel away. Is going to hit him with a Malarch right now. Trying to see if he can break through Shield of Vengeance. The Shield of Vengeance is so much weaker because of the dampening. He's trying to heal through it. Shield of Vengeance popping back at Zui. Bob coming out right now. Is fully necrotic out. Cannot go for a heal. Necrotics fall off. Bradis goes for a little bit of a heal while wings are up. And Zui is looking for a full reset. Broken Spec cannot recover fast enough in order to get his health back up and running he got wings rolling but he cannot recover fast enough at all hopefully Zoe has some calm points off of that last opener to go for a night blade into a cheap shot and go in for damage right away 
trying to wait out the wings maybe looks like exactly what he's trying to do is open it up with a shadow strike nine blitz will follow broken spade getting the one minute cooldown on those wings but it's gonna be a full kill shot by zoe shadow strikes a back-to-back -back. trying to see if he can get a finish on a cheap shot trying to go for as much damage blinder to broken spec while he has nothing left just trying to go for a clean hundred and oh sap is gonna break immediately he's probably gonna go for a double sapper right after isn't he but he just leaves <laughs> he just leaves <laughs> what that's two people that just left and two people against zoe he would have had three kills yeah because he never <laughs> what